The Burke Baker Planetarium at the Houston Museum of Natural Science is a world-renowned facility that emphasizes education as much as entertainment. They needed a new projection technology that could keep up with their non-stop schedule of visitors and school groups, making guests feel like they're actually on a spaceship or inside the human body. They now have 10 Sony VPL GTZ 280 4K laser projectors, delivering the highest image quality and lowering maintenance costs. The power of a planetarium, a full dome, over any other medium, is that we take you where you can't go. We take you to outer space, to the beginning of time, the birth of the uh, universe. We look at how the galaxies formed. We look at what it'd be like to be on each planet. We create environments that were as close to real as we can make them. We go inside the human body and wonder what it'd be like to be inside the heart, whatever. We humans visualize our reality. We allow that visualization to happen. We're competing with regular movie theaters. They're stereo, they're brighter. We're darker, we're more immersive. We have to differentiate ourselves. So it began a search for a brighter projector, a search for a higher resolution projector, and it's been an evolution ever since. Because we have the projectors now, we have the computers, we have the technology, we can make it real. And we can surround you with it. We can make it feel like you're there, and the colors, the resolution, the difference between dark and light say, I'm really there. So as an educational tool to have a seamless reality and change that reality so that kids can put things together they can't any other way, we are teaching. And part of the reason is the quality of the experience is so perfect. The kids are there, they're wowed, they're engaged, they're ready to learn. So we knew the projector we wanted. We wanted a 4K projector. We wanted it to edge blend beautifully. We wanted it to be stable over temperature ranges and time, and we wanted it to be very high contrast. It's contrast that gives you what the human eye cannot produce on its own. A human eye can adjust to brightness. It can't adjust to contrast. It can't adjust to a poor color space. It needs that richness of color and depth of color to be able to feel like it's reality, or maybe even just a little bit better than reality. And that's what the Sony projectors and the Evans and Sutherland computer system have done for us. When you plan a projection system, you start looking at how much bulbs cost. And for most systems that use bulbs or lamps, it's very expensive. The advantage of a laser system is twofold. One, you don't have to change out the bulbs, which makes it much easier to maintain. The second, when you have six or 10, whatever number of projectors you have and they're running on bulbs, when you replace the bulbs in one of them, the rest of them are too faint. The fact that you don't have to find, get to the projector to change the bulbs, the fact that all these projectors are going to hopefully get old together means that your system will stay blended, it will stay aligned, and that is worth a fortune. When you're trying to make several projectors look like one, you cannot have a seam. Seams are a disaster. What these projectors do with the very superior Evans and Sutherland alignment and blending system, they stay where they're supposed to. And that's huge if you're trying to make a system that every morning when you turn it on, it's perfect. When planetariums purchase equipment and do upgrades, what they care about is having years of stability to look forward to. You don't want to have to deal with technical problems, um, alignment problems, blending problems, bulb problems for at least five years. You want to, to feel like you've bought a system that's gonna make it that far. Now, with the maintenance cost so low, with the maintenance worry so small, these projectors are the ideal solution and certainly will get you through years and years of happy use. Two companies, Evans & Sutherland and Sony, produced a product they had never made before and never put together before and never had the configuration before. And they did it together and they did it on time, ahead of time. And we just trusted the names. These two companies would not fail us and they would not ever want to fail anyone. And so we have the most gorgeous planetarium in the world, I promise.